Hey everyone, this is Dan from Chainer Designs, here to share another 1 minute SOLIDWORKS tip. In this video, I'll show you how to create flexible assemblies from rigid step files. Let's get started. I've downloaded a step of a pneumatic cylinder from McMaster Car, so I'll go ahead and open that file now. As you can see, this has all the components we need, but they're constrained and not movable. Cut a section view through the axis of the model so you can see everything, then open the Bodies folder in the Feature Manager. Now start hovering over each item to figure out what's what. You can see here we have an extra rod and nut as well, but that's not a problem. Now it starts to get fun. In this case, we want to create two separate part files, one for the body and one for the rod. Let's start with the body, so go ahead and hide the two rods and the two nuts, and save. Now just go through and unhide everything that's hidden, and hide everything that's not. So this leaves you with two rods and two nuts, so go ahead and hide one pair, and then save as. Now create a new assembly and insert both components. Make sure the body is constrained somehow so that it doesn't move. And then cut a section view so that you can see inside, hide the planes, and create a concentric mate. Then create a limit distance mate from the end of the rod to the inside of the body. And in this case, the stroke is 4 inches for the cylinder, so go from 0 to 4. And there we go. Now we have a flexible assembly. Well, that sums everything up, so hopefully this was helpful for you. Feel free to subscribe, and thank you for watching.